Hi guys, welcome to probably the most important video on my channel. I have created a tool to analyze the different niches on a different print-on-demand websites, which I believe is probably the most advanced tool there is currently on the market. The price for this tool is gonna be super low because I want this to be accessible for everyone anywhere in the world. Uh, so it's gonna be $2 for using this tool forever, like all time access for only $2. And let me show you what this tool is capable of. And I'm sure you won't be disappointed by the end of this video. And I'm sure you will help me create this incredible journey with changing the print on demand niche research world. Uh, with this beautiful beginning, let's get started. So this is the tool. Um, it's called Niche Sniper. It's still this kind of early access, I would say a beta phase, because for sure there will be some things uh, that require improvement. And I'm sure and I promise you that I will be updating this tool like as soon as possible will inform you about every uh, major updates. Okay, so to purchase this tool, you need to click on the link uh, down below in the description and you will see the Gumroad page uh, of my shop uh, where you can see the Niche Sniper, the upcoming most advanced print-on-demand niche analyzer. You just need to purchase here and what you will receive is the access, the all-time access to the Google Drive with the old version of the Niche Sniper. So if anything will be updated in this tool, if any improvement will be made to this tool, you will have the immediate access by uh, the shared folder in the Google Drive. So I'm gonna use the uh, Merch Informer to show you like an example niches and how we can analyze them if they are good or not. So let me check like any kind of a random niche here from the Merch Informer. And by the way, as there's also mentioned on this tool, with the code Johnny POD, you have 20% discount for the Merch Informer, which is the greatest quality to price uh, print on demand niche research tool, which then can be really easily analyzed in the tool I've just created. So uh, yeah, let's maybe just check on the Candy Cane Crew. Why not? So Candy Cane Crew, and we are going to paste it on the Amazon page. So let's just put it here and add the T-shirt at the end of the phrase because the T-shirt is simply the, the most popular product on the market. Okay, so what you can see here is a 10,000 results. So really a lot of results. Uh, maybe let's also just copy this phrase and, and paste it into Redbubble page. So let's do that. As you can see, 367 results. So um, much, much lower. And how we can analyze them in the niche sniper. So the first thing, we're just gonna copy the phrase and just gonna paste it into Redbubble section and also the merge by Amazon section slash KDP because basically the research for the KDP will also work the same. So you can use it for your um, KDP account, KDP books. It works super great for any sort of coloring activity books. Like, trust me on that. And here what you can see on the right side is the immediate chart that is created automatically like everything is fully automated in this tool. You just need to enter uh, some data related to this niche. So Candy Cane Crew on Redbubble, we have the 367 competition. And as you can see, our score points increased and it's also being showed on this uh, chart on the right side. So let's finish. Is Redbubble on the first page of Google search results? Okay, let's check on that. So uh, let me go to this uh, incognito mode of your browser and let me just put the candy cane crew in the Google search and what you can see uh, here is the Etsy uh, is also the Amazon but I don't see a red bubble on the first page oh there is so red bubble is on the first page and Amazon is also here on the first page okay so it means that some results from this website are showing on the first page of Google search results. All right, so we can uh, just add it here. So number of competition on Amazon was 10,000, which is um, really a lot. So you see that our score increased by only uh, and only 12 points, which gives you 7.5% of the total score. Uh, so right now we're gonna choose the Israel bubble on the first page of Google search results. Yes, there is. You have this drop down list. You don't need to enter like manually. Uh, as I said, everything is almost fully automated in this tool. So here also on Amazon, uh, we're gonna click on yes, that Amazon is also on the 
first page of Google search results and how many searches does it have on Google. And the next column is, is there tag spamming on Redbubble? So let me quickly uh, check on that. So let's maybe go to the Redbubble first and like enter the couple of the first products to see if there is a tag spamming. If you don't know what the tag spamming is, basically this is repeating the same keyword over and over uh, in the seller's tags, which apparently works for a Redbubble algorithm and it triggers it somehow that the designs appear on the first row of the Redbubble searches. But this action is completely forbidden on Redbubble and you can get very easily banned for doing that. So let me check if people are also doing this in this niche. Uh, you just need to scroll down to the all products tax section and as you can see there is some sort of tax spamming but I wouldn't say this is a like a hard version of tax spamming so I would check no in our niche sniper tool and the next thing we need to do is to check the Google searches you can do that very easily by using the free tool keyword planner uh, the setup of this tool to use it completely for free is a bit complicated that's why I am leaving you a tutorial down in the description which is going to show you how you can set up your own keyword planner and use it completely for free you won't find better Google searches analyzer uh, in that price which is free zero um, all right so we're gonna enter this niche name here and just remember to check the United States as the location you can also add maybe United Kingdom and Canada here and the language to English all right so candy cane crew and get the results as you can see by the results average monthly searches currently are between 10 and 100. What I'm doing in this situation is just entering the average uh, results from this number. So in this case, this is going to be around 50 results. So uh, let's go back to the niche sniper. And what we can do here is check, is there tag spamming on Redbubble? We've already checked on that and there is no like a significant sign of tag spamming. But we can also check on the other design because I've entered like uh, two of them. So let's check on this one. And as you can see, it's almost the same tags which is not a very hard version of tag spamming. Some keywords repeats, but this is not even close to, to, a, to a true tag spamming issue. So uh, let's get back and we can check here that no, there is no tag spamming and how many searches doesn't have on Google. It has around 50 searches. So let's enter this number here. So let's enter 50 searches on Google and also here um, 50. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, the last thing we need to check is the do products have some reviews on Amazon. On Redbubble there is like no possibility to check on that, that's why there is no column for that on in the Redbubble section, but on Amazon we can definitely do that. So how we can do that is just go to the Amazon page and check if the products have some reviews. So as you can see, uh, this product have reviews, this one, this one, uh, and I can see that pretty much I would say that a lot of products have some reviews. So we can go back to the niche sniper and we can check that most products have reviews. So basically this thing is kind of subjective. I would say that if like one, two or three designs only have some reviews, then you can select the some products have reviews. But if it is more than that, we can definitely check most products have reviews. There's of course no way that all of the Amazon products will have any reviews because the niche would need to be like a super saturated and I believe such niche uh, doesn't even exist to have all products with the reviews. And you have the final score which is 51% so not so great on Amazon uh, but on the Redbubble as you can see the number is much higher so it's 66%. And as you can see, all of the niches have appeared uh, here on the right side in this chart. But this is not the only thing this tool can do. So basically you have these um, three tabs. So niche research one, niche research two and niche research three. More or less, they are um, kind of the same. But the niche research one have this additional feature of choose the king Redbubble niches and also the MBA and KDP niches. What it does is, for example, if I'm going to enter like any other uh, niches so for example let's let's go with dog lover uh, t-shirt here right number of competition let's say it's gonna be i don't know only 50 amazon is on the 
uh, first page of Google search results. Let's assume that um, Google searches are like, I don't know, also 50 and most products have reviews. So you see that the score is higher, it's 70%. It also appeared here on the niche comparison for MBA, but here down below in the choose the king, you see these two niches which are sorted from the highest score to the lowest. And also if I'm gonna for example, go here on the niche research two tab. Uh, so you can like in total enter 30 niches here, which is a lot, I believe. Um, so let's maybe enter cat lover um, t-shirt. Why not? Number of competition, let's put even 10. Okay. Issue bubble on the first page. Let's click on yes. Uh, how many searches does it have on Google? Let's enter like enormous number and do products have some reviews. Most products have reviews so this is kind of a idea of a perfect niche uh, of course this is just an example taken from my head the cat lover niche is much more saturated than that uh, but the score as you can see is 100 percent and if you go back to the first tab of this tool you can see that this niche has also appeared here the cat lover t-shirt is the uh, the best niche from all three niches so here after like entering 30 different niches you can choose the best one. You can see which one uh, seems to be most likely to make sales. And same obviously works for Redbubble. So if I'm gonna enter uh, any sort of niche, maybe let's even use the tab number three here. So let me just, um, I don't know, coffee lover, something like that. Uh, number of competition is gonna be 50. So lower than our previous niche that we found. Redbubble is going to be on the first page. Uh, there is like no tax spamming on this niche and it has enormous amount of Google searches. As you can see, also we've created this kind of idea of a perfect niche. It's got a, a score of 100%. And on the first tab, it's gonna appear here on the Choose the King Redbubble niches. So this is super useful when you are dealing with a larger amount of niches. And basically this is how this tool works. There is not much more to talk about because it's super intuitive and it's almost fully automated. You just try to determine like different factors of this niche and enter some, uh, some basic numbers and it gives you like a perfect score point and score percentage of every single niche. The one more thing I just want to ask you is to leave any sort of bugs, issues, uh, under this email so I've created a separate email for the niche sniper so you just email me on niche sniper tool uh, gmail.com and I will respond to every single one and if there will be any like major issues we'll try to work ASAP to work on them to get them fixed so one more reminder guys if you want to purchase this tool just go to the description where there is a full gumroad link uh, to purchase it I believe two dollars is a fair price for the amount of work I have put into this tool so just one more thing before we finish this video if you don't have the Excel on your computer there is like no reason to be afraid uh, because you can simply download the tool after purchase you can download this tool from Google Drive and open it in Google Sheets which is a free software for anyone and I've checked on Google Sheets everything works the same the functions uh, work the same there so there won't be any issues with using it on google sheets thank you so much for watching so let me know what you think about the niche sniper uh, for now it costs only two dollars let's treat it as an early access maybe in the future the price will a bit increase so uh, buy it now if you hesitate and yeah i'm just reminding you that if you want a very good niche research tool to get these niches for the niche sniper, you can use the merging formula with the code Johnny POD. Okay, I'm done talking. You have everything in the tool. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And yeah, see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.